I'm Carrie Wilbanks here in Ottawa in Ontario, Canada, getting ready to explore the booming food and drink scene as well as some cultural gems. One of the best ways to experience the culture and food of the city is on a culinary tour with Cebon Epicurean Adventures. So the Cebon Cooking Tours are food tours, the walking food tours in Ottawa, eight different sectors of Ottawa. We have such good food here, whether it's beer infused uh, dishes or small plates that are made with local food. You can even go to an Italian market at, at La Bottega Nicastro and sample food as if you were in Italy. It's fantastic. So La Bottega is an Italian market. Um, in this Italian market you can find everything from uh, Italian coffee, pastas, tomato sauces, olive oils, balsamic vinegars, chocolate. We have a sandwich counter, a salumeria where you can find the best prosciuttos from all over Italy. We have a cheese counter where you can have 48 month old parmigiano de Giano. We have uh, olive selection, uh, so a bit of everything. What you can find is to uh, get into a little grocery store, a little restaurant, a pastry shop, taste a little bit and get a good feeling of what this area is so it becomes theirs. They feel part of the community once they're finished the tour. Whether you hop on a beer tour or just order a local brew at a restaurant in town, you will see why the beer scene here in Ottawa is on the rise. The craft beer scene in Ottawa right now is explosive. We've got new breweries opening up about four or five a year, but well, we've got a brand new one that's supposed to open up in about two weeks, three weeks, and two more at least planned before the end of the year. A Brew Donkey is an Ottawa brewery tour operator. We help bring people to local craft breweries in town. We help them fall in love with craft breweries. Everybody learns together and then drinks together. And by the end of it, people are um, wandering around the city uh, after a brew donkey tour together. For a dining experience, check out Le Cordon Bleu. So we are here at the Cordon Bleu uh, in Ottawa. So here it's a very unique uh, facility. First, it's an old mansion, so we have really like nice little rooms. But also we have the school also, part of this building. We have the restaurant signature, uh, which is a bit the showcase, the vitrine of Le Cordon Bleu in Ottawa. It's uh, people like dine every day, like can come at night, lunch, and uh, enjoy really like uh, a really specific meal. It's an experience. I mean, being in here, it's like being in an old home, and that's what I love about it. It's not a typical restaurant with loud music playing or anything. Like, it feels like I'm eating in my old home. Aside from food and drinks, Ottawa is home to some of the country's most visited museums, and we're going to show you some of the hidden gems inside. So here at the National Gallery of Canada, in the heart of downtown Ottawa, at the edge of the Byward Market, um, we have lots of Canadian art so that you can see, as well as European, international artworks, uh, American, and we have a contemporary gallery as well. We have both Canadian and uh, international in the contemporary galleries. And uh, we have outdoor spaces for sculptures, as well as indoor paintings and sculptures and installations. The architecture. Uh, it was designed by uh, Masha Safdi, who is a Quebec resident, and um, he designed it to really reflect the space around us, the landscape around us, and uh, it allows us to experience it as well while we're in the building. Uh, so there's a lot of bright open spaces, beautiful light, um, and it really allows us to really experience what's going on around us, and it's very open, very welcoming to visitors from all over. So here at the Canadian War Museum, we also have a lot of hidden gems. 
Memorial Hall is a very different room from the rest of the museum. It's a very different atmosphere. It has a nice pool of water, uh, which helps with the tranquility in the room. And it has one artifact, which is the headstone of the unknown soldier, which was brought back to Canada in the year 2000. This is the original gravestone from Vimy Ridge, where this unknown soldier originally died. So some other things that you could see uh, at the Canadian War Museum is the nose art from the Second World War Halifax bombers. Uh, nose art represents different types of cartoons, it would have pinup girls, different types of little symbols uh, that were often important to the crews. Uh, it was Captain Lieutenant uh, Harold Lindsay that brought them back to Canada to be uh, exhibited in the Canadian War Museum today. Uh, from the museum is very easy to see the Peace Tower, especially in Regeneration Hall where you can be faced exactly perfectly with the Peace Tower. Uh, so either at the beginning or at the end of the visit, you can visit the museum's rooftop, uh, which is a green roof, uh, which really brings back the theme of regeneration, uh, which is a theme that has been across the museum. Ottawa in Ontario, Canada is a destination filled with food, craft beer and cultural experiences that you're going to have to come check out for yourself.